Today I'm going to show you how to take your chronometer from this to this. All right, hello everyone. Uh, if you are watching this, you either uh, were at the women's health presentation I did at Sports Village, you are one of our clients and I'm helping to onboard you, or you are a random YouTube citizen just curious about uh, improving your health with the chronometer there. So um, we are going to um, go over chronometer and basically how to set it up um, from like when you first download it, how to set it up to kind of track your caloric budget. So chronometer is that Apple uh icon right there. So again, if you're one of our clients, you'll see that beautiful nutrient health and fitness logo. Um, so we are going to go ahead and skip to today, or I'm sorry, skip ahead to tomorrow, we're going to go into the future and we're going to look at a blank day. So when you first sign up with chronometer, none of this you you won't have I'm refreshing everything none of the groups that you see there, those won't be there. Uh, and even this this remaining number will not be accurately set. So what I'm going to have you do, first thing I'm going to do is show you how to put these groups in there so you can organize your foods. So we'll do that first. So you're going to hit this settings down here. So anyways, we're in settings. We're going to scroll down. Um, one of the first things you're going to have to do, and I'm going to have to swipe away notifications or texts as they come in, forgive me. But one of the first things you're going to have to do after you get just signed in is set up your profile. Make sure you go through and put the correct um, age and gender and your height um, your weight, my weight right there, my weight rather, um, does not show up because I'm punching it in all the time and it's linked to a uh, smart scale. So it does that automatically for me. So that's why that's blank. Uh, BMI will calculate automatically. BMR will calculate automatically body fat. You need to kind of estimate that. Um, unless again, you have a smart scale or something that will do that automatically. So um, I said I was going to do groups and, and look at me getting um, out of off, off track. So we'll skip down to display for those groups that I showed you. The first thing that you're going to do is diary groups. You're going to click that and then you'll have to turn them on. Um, I think by nature it shows macronutrients and that's what you want. And I'll show you why here in a second. Um, you can also select like whenever you import you know, data from a scale from your Fitbit or whatever, what group do you want it to go in? I just want everything at pre-workout, which is, which is my first group, whatever you call your first group group. It could be breakfast. It could be, um, uh, whatever Saturday morning brunch, whatever you want to call that first group, you can call it. So I've, I've labeled these, get my keyboard to go away. I've labeled these accordingly because our mornings, my wife and I are up at like three, three thirty in the morning. We're working out by four 30. So I have some things around like 3.30 for my pre-workout. We do our post-workout shake and then it's meals. Um, you know, we'll generally have breakfast, lunch, dinner, although at earlier times than normal sane people. Uh, and then I have late meals and sups and notes. Sups and notes is just supplements and notes. If I take things throughout the day or if I want to make notes of how I feel for the day, how did this supplement affect me, et cetera, et cetera, I put them here. Uh, late meal is just if I ever do like have a snack um, when I didn't plan on eating, but I was hungrier later at night because of increased calorie usage or something throughout the day. But so, and then this group eight you see is turned off, um, because I don't need a group eight. Um, I think seven groups is enough for an individual to track and probably too much for most people. But this right here, turning these on and, and titling those is how you get this. So from here, if I go back to, uh, let's go back to yesterday, like a, a day where I was clearly a hungry boy because I was 2000 calories over. This is what, um, the summarizing it by macronutrients. If you can see like pre-workout, it has those, the calories and proteins and everything. So it lets me know per meal, everything that I had. And of course, zero calories in my supplements. But so that's how you get the groups set up. Now to get your, your budget right there set up, we're going to go back to have this profile all filled out, but you're going to want to scroll down to targets. Uh, I believe you're going to go to weight goal right here. And then the thing that will change that budget or remaining number for you 
is when you first start chronometer, it'll be turned off right there. You need to turn that on. You can punch in a weight goal if you want. I don't think that will matter. Um, and then the budget number is going to be dependent on what this number is, right? So like if you're wanting to lose um, one pound a week, that's equivalent to being in a 500 calorie deficit. I want to lose one and a half pounds a week on, on average. And that's, it's, it's, I mean, as lean as I am, I don't know how realistic that is, but that's the number I'm set at. So that's a 750 calorie deficit. So, and these numbers will all like, you know, two pounds is going to be a thousand calories, right? Cause 500 here, uh, two is one. Okay. Fad text and notifications. I told you. So, um, and I got to hop on a phone call, so I need to wrap this up, but so these, long story short, these are going to be based on your goals. So again, I have it set at this, that one and a half. So that's a 750 calorie deficit. So that means if you do the math here on tomorrow, it's a brand new day. I haven't done anything. 1950 calories. And technically it's, it's not 750. It's a 748 calorie deficit, but I mean, potato, potato, you know what I'm saying? So 1950 is my deficit. If you add 748 calories to that, bingo, bango, you get 2698. So that is how you're going to set up the budget. Now, the goal for me, then, if I'm trying to get um, to, good Lord, good Lord, if I'm sorry, if I'm trying to get to um, a 750 calorie deficit, I want this remaining number to be zero. In order for that to be zero, um, I need to, number one, you need to make sure you're accurately tracking your steps. Um, one last thing I'll show you on here or your activity. So if you're doing a workout, um, I'll do that really quick. Cause I worked out earlier today. I'm going to hit there, browse all, uh, and please rewind this and pause it. If you need to, I know I'm kind of flying through these last things. I did resistance training. Uh, I did 90 minutes this morning and I'm a stickler for time. Um, I started at eight o'clock. So, oops, well, here, bear with me, sorry, user error. Um, so in order to, you want to track your calories. So, so if you see that resistance training right there, my remaining number just changed now because I burned those 334 calories, supposedly, even though I feel like I burned a lot more than that. You know what I mean? You're going to scroll down all the way, scroll, scroll to integrations, and you'll see where it says disconnect Google Fit. If you're an Android phone, it'll say connect Apple Health. If I'm sorry, if you're an Apple phone, it'll say connect Apple Health. If you're an Android phone, it'll say connect Google Fit. You'll just need to hit that, download those relative uh, respective apps if you don't have them already, get signed in, and then it will automatically track. Um, let me show you. Um, blah, 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 like walking right there. That is from Google Fit automatically tracking my steps for the day when I had my phone with me. So, um, so you can see yesterday was a cheat day. So I was 2,245 calories over my goal of being in a 748 calorie deficit, right? As of today, I'm currently 1,836 calories away from being in a 748 calorie deficit. So that remaining number, that zero, when it gets to zero, your, and actually you can see it right there, goal deficit, um, 748. That's going to depend again on what you have your weight loss goal set at. And when this number says zero, you are at that deficit. I hope that gets the point across with some of this stuff, but that's how you set your chronometer up for your groups, for your budget, um, and how you would link your device to accurately track your steps. So thank you everybody for watching Andrew Allen Frisch, nutrient health and fitness. Um, again, find us on YouTube, find us on Facebook. Um, yeah, have a beautiful day and go be awesome. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.